One week ago, Valentine's Day, creative writing teacher Stacy LaPelle's class was playing music, writing love letters, when the fire alarm went off. As students filed into the hallway, she heard gunfire. The killing had begun. I was about two feet away from my door. All of a sudden, I heard gunshots in the stairwell, which is about 20 feet away from my room. And then kids were screaming and then running back towards me and towards the end of the hallway. So I just went in this very strange autopilot mode where I pivoted on my feet, I unlocked my door, and the kids just started pouring in my room. I don't know how many kids were in there, but I was pulling them and getting them in and shouting at them to get in the room. And then I suddenly saw the shooter about 20 feet from me, standing at the end of the hallway, actively shooting down the hallway, just a barrage of bullets. And I'm staring at him thinking, why is the police here? This is strange, because he's in full metal garb, helmet, face mask, uh, bulletproof armor, shooting this rifle that I've never seen before. I don't know when I decided it was the right time to close the door. I grabbed the handle with both hands, and that's when I got nicked or grazed or whatever you call it. <laughs> so a bullet hit your arm? Yes. As I'm closing my door, I'm shouting at my next door neighbor, Mr. Scott Beagle, to close his door. And he's the kind of man that would just keep that door open a little longer. You know, he's all about the kids, you know, and, but he could have been a shooter. I had a good visual of him, which is why I yelled at him to shut his door now. I heard him shoot a barrage of bullets into Mr. Beagle's room. And then he came to my room and shot about four or five shots into my room, breaking the glass of my door. There's a rectangular piece of glass. And I heard him continuously shooting down the hallway, down the hallway. And I never really knew when he left because we just thought he was still there. It was so quiet. And then all of a sudden I hear helicopters outside far, far in the distance, it seemed to me. Police officers far, far in the distance. Kids were screaming in the hallway for help. We're trained not to let anybody in the room. And I, I would say a good 45 minutes went by, maybe an hour. And when this, we heard the SWAT team come on the floor, but I still didn't trust that it was them because they were banging on the doors. Police let us in. No one got up. Here it is. No one got up. Right on. Okie dokie. That's what they say.